Good evening. The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, Snowfall in Western Armenia, interview with Artsakh World Volunteer Andranik Papoyan, the petition of about 150 scientists of the world to the Pope on the preservation of cultural heritage of Artsakh, European Union leaders extend sanctions against Turkey, the US military in the Middle East are brought to maximum combat readiness. More and more countries are gradually facing Turkish aggression, Greek Foreign Ministry. On December 11, 1946, the UN General Assembly recognized the genocide as an international crime. Heavy snowfall occurred in many parts of Western Armenia since the first days of December. In some regions, there is a snowstorm and fog. Dozens of rural roads have been closed due to the snowfall. In particular, the provinces of Garin, Harbert, and Van, there is a danger of freezing. In some parts of Van, where a catastrophic avalanche took place last winter, there is a danger of avalanche again. Western Armenia TV had a conversation with Andranik Papoyan, a volunteer who went to the Artsakh war. During the conversation, he spoke about what really happened on the battlefield during the war, the support of people, the letters he received, and a number of organizational issues. He also talked about the heroic deeds of 18 to 20 year old soldiers and shared his future plans. The interview is available on our official YouTube channel. According to the Matana Daran, a petition signed by about 150 representatives of scientific institutions and scientists from different countries of the world was submitted to the State Secretariat of Holy See regarding the preservation of Artsakh's cultural heritage. Apart from the humanitarian catastrophe in Artsakh, the rich Armenian cultural heritage created in that area, consisting of hundreds of early Christian, medieval, and modern churches, monasteries, and various monuments, is also in danger, the scholar said in the petition. Scholars have presented presented evidence of a recent systematic destruction of Armenian artistic and architectural heritage of the territories under the control of the Azerbaijani government. The scholars expressed hope that with the mediation of POP it will be possible to unite the relevant international organizations to save the heritage located in the territory of historical Armenia and the tasement of the faith, which is of great importance, the Matanadaran's Facebook post reads. European Union heads of state and government have decided to extend sanctions against Turkey over its actions in Mediterranean. This is stated in the statement of participants of the European Union summit which is being held in Brussels, Test reports. The European Union remains committed to safeguarding the interests of the Union and its member states, as well as to maintaining regional stability. In this regard, the summit instructs the European Union Council to adopt an additional blacklist based on the decision on November 11, 2019 on restrictive measures due to the Turkey's illegal activities in the Mediterranean, the statement reads. The document emphasizes that Turkey unfortunately continues its unilateral and provocative actions as well as intensified its rhetoric against the European Union, its member states and European leaders. The US military in the Middle East has been brought to maximum combat readiness due to the threat of an attack by Iran, political newspaper right site and a military official. The Pentagon is closely monitoring alarming indications of a possible offensive by pro-Iranian forces in Iraq, the newspaper writes. More and more countries are gradually facing up to the full extent of Turkey's aggression, Greek Foreign Minister Nikos Dendias mentioned. Speaking at an event organized by the Conservative Party's youth wing, Dendias said that the United States and France had started to see Turkey as a problem for the NATO alliance rather than a bonus. Other countries have still not grasped the full magnitude of the problem. As a result, they have a belated reaction to Turkey's provocations and aggressiveness. More and more states now understand the things the way we do, he emphasized. European Union leaders were expected to decide on Thursday on sanctions against Turkey over its activities in the eastern Mediterranean. Following the Nuremberg trials, lawyer Rafael Lemkin focused his efforts on drafting an international document condemning the genocide at the UN General Assembly. In October of 1946, India, Cuba, and Panama requested that the issue of genocide be included in the agenda of the first meeting of the UN General Assembly. They called on General Assembly to condemn the crime of genocide even if it committed in peace. On December 11, 1946, the UN General Assembly adopted Resolution 95, which established the principles of inter international law enshrined in the Statute of the International Court of Justice in Nuremberg. Resolution 96 is also approved by the General Assembly. According to the resolution, the General Assembly affirmed that genocide is an international legal crime. UN Secretary General Tragvili asked Lemkin to draft a genocide convention. 
The draft was developed in 1947 by Vespasian Pella, a Romanian lawyer and a French legal expert from Lankin Donadie de Vabri, as a result of the existing conflicts between the USSR and the USA, which was involved in the Cold War, certain important provisions were removed from the final text of the convention. It was presented to the UN General Assembly in September-December. The text of the Convention on the Prevention and Punishment of the Crime of Genocide was adopted by the UN General Assembly on December 9, 1948. The main purpose of this convention was affirm the fact that genocide is a crime under the international law. Now let us represent to your attention a song Sas Nazaret by Maro. <laughs> You can find the whole version of the song in the official page of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.